chairman of the Code of Conduct Bureau is in Latvia to seek partnership with the state towards ensuring all public office holders and civil servants declared their assets. This, he says, is necessary due to low level of compliance to asset declaration, which is mandatory for all public office holders and civil servants. This is a very viable tool to assist you, not only the Code of Conduct Bureau, or to assist the investigating authorities, but also to assist the state government in checking the excesses of public officers at all strata of the public service. Governor Abdullah Isule says, although he has declared his assets, but will mandate all public office holders and civil servants to comply with the provision of the law. When I see you sincerely wanting to to work for the benefit of Nigeria, I say I will also sincerely do that. And I will urge you to start the verification with me. Use me as an example, you know, to set your verification, to take my own form that I have declared and go and verify so that you can say he is the one who say he wants verification. Let us start with him. You know, so if you do that, then you will send the message that you mean it. But beyond the declaration of asset, Governor Sule Tax Code of Conduct Bureau to monitor all asset declared to ensure asset declared are not in variance with what is on ground. Elafia, Aliuti Jani, NTA News.